In this lesson, we are going to get data from the web. And you'll notice here is a website from Stats America that shows us all the different population numbers for each individual state ranked in order. You'll notice also here is a Wikipedia page that's also got a whole list of different state information and also come down a little bit more and you see there's even more state information. Now, what do these websites have in common is that they're all in a table format and that's very important. That is what Power BI is looking for. So what I'm going to do is very simply copy this, go back over to Power BI, and then I'm going to come over here to my home tab. I'm still in the same exact file. Come to my home tab, click on get data, and you're going to see down here is web. And then very simply just going to ask you, hey, what's the URL? I'm going to paste that in, click OK. Now you're going to see it's just finding the internet, it's looking for it, hey, hey, where's that website? And you see it's going to bring up a whole bunch of stuff on the left hand side and then notice that word tables so if i click on this here you're going to see that whether you realize it or not there are tables on that website click on this one you can see there's another table right there i don't want either of these things i do want this one and if you have a lot of data on here it may require a little bit of clicking around but most of the time it's pretty obvious so you can see here, there is all the data that I showed you on the website. I can scroll down, I can see most of it, if not all of it. You can see that there are two tabs up on top. One is table view, and this is showing us all the data, all stripped down of any kind of formatting. And you can see here to the right of that is web view. And you can see this is kind of nice because it's giving us confirmation, what it looks like in reality on the website. Pretty neat, very cool. So I'm just gonna very simply now transform this data and you're going to see it's going to take me back to something very similar as I saw with my Excel file and also my TXT file. And you can see I can remove some of these things. I could change this to whatever it needs to be. And what I'm going to do next is just very simply remove this. So I'm just going to right click on there and I'm going to say remove. Second choice down. It goes away. I don't really need that. Now that's here. Let's go ahead and take a look at another way for us to bring in more data. We're going to use that same one that we saw before. Let's come back to here. And we're going to use this one this time. And because this one has two different tables, we're going to see what that's going to look like when there's more data for us to work with. So you can see there is state and territory rankings. I come down here. This is going to be population of state territories and regions, possibly a little bit more information, decade over decade by the census and some other percent changes pretty neat, super helpful information. So I'm going to copy this. And then let's go back to where we just were in Power Query this time. Now we're going to get data from here and then add it to our queries. And this time we're going to do it from new source and then say web. So we're essentially accomplishing the same thing, but from a slightly different vantage point. All right, so I just want you to kind of understand that there's different ways to accomplish the same thing that may save you a little bit of time. So I'm going to choose web and then same dialog box pops up. I'm going to paste that in, click OK, and then click on connect. Now let's wait for it. It's connecting. It's going into the Internet. It's finding everything there. It's finding that website. And you can see a lot more stuff popping up here, a lot more tables. But you can see here is this particular table. Really nice. That's great. Here is this particular one. No, I definitely don't want that one. And here is this one. Say, OK, that's kind of interesting. All right, really nice. Cool. I happen to like this one, right? A lot more data in there. So I'm going to click OK. That's going to appear here. So if we look at this here, we're going to see that this particular data needs a little bit of work. So what are we talking about here? Well. Because it's coming in from the web, it's coming in from some place that, hey, you know what? I didn't really write this. It's not coming from a place that's like designed to be extracted out, like maybe a professional database that you're paying money for. And we may have to do some other types of transformation. In this case, I just want to remove these rows. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so this is going to be the first row. So what I'm going to do to fix this is very simply say used first row as headers. So I click on that little drop down. You can see use first row as headers, use headers as first rows. Well, no, I actually want the first row as the headers. I click on that and then that is going to replace 
everything we see here. Beautiful. And then, of course, you can make whatever kind of data format changes you want, the labeling of it, all that good stuff, right? Lovely, looks amazing. And then I'm done. I'm gonna say close and apply. It's gonna take me back to Power BI. Both of them are loading up now. Even though they're from the web, it's the same exact process. And we learned how to bring them in as well as doing different types of transformations. And you can see I have my invoice data, my master column data, and then I have these two. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't actually need these. This is just for the purposes of the exercises and to show you how you can bring in different types of data. But I'm gonna show you how you can remove these very, very easily if you right click on it. We're gonna say delete from model, say yes. And now we're just back to the remaining queries, our invoice data and our master customer and feeling good and now ready to create a data model or a relationship between these two data sets so I can start doing some pretty fancy analysis. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.